stranded astronaut. So Trump oh, and Musk, and, and you know, I, I don't like getting terribly political on this show, but Trump and Musk have been <laughs> Neither pushing do this, our listeners. <laughs> this narrative yeah, about these two Boeing Starliner astronauts, Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore, being stranded on the space station, which I kind of, you know, I swallowed hard at that, but I thought, okay, you know, if you want to contextualize it that way, I, I'm not going to push back too hard. But then they went further to claim that it was a political ploy by the Biden administration. Yeah. Ooh, horns. Uh, no evidence was offered, of course, uh, beyond Elon's claim that he offered the Biden administration to get them down sooner. And he claims they said no. So that was immediately interpreted as a political move. Could have also been a money saving move, by the way. But the current schedule for return was set months ago. You know, crew crew uh, rotations are a very complicated thing. Delivering payloads is a complicated thing. And oh, by the way, the very person that's making a big deal out of this, Mr. Musk, is the one that's late on delivering the new Crew Dragon capsule, which was supposed to be part of that rotation. So there's a bunch of, of moving parts going on here. It does feel disingenuous, especially when you see Trump and Musk and Fox um, and I don't have a particular thing against Fox, but using words like stranded or my favorite abandoned, mm -hmm. which both Trump and Sean Hannity said left in space. They were never abandoned.